Howdy, AP Precal. Here is another video talking about limit properties with rational functions. So I just did this one, and here comes another one. Um, what makes these two different is that this last one, we went, um, the, the graph went in different directions, whereas on this one, we're wanting to approach an asymptote. Um, we're approaching the asymptote of x equals negative 1, but we, on both sides, we go off to positive infinity. Okay, and then we have the point negative 2, 4. So somewhere over here, negative 2 would be equal to a positive 4. Now, I don't know if, it's, um, if it has to be a hole or if it um, just would be the, a point there. Um, either we need a hole or I should ask the calculus teachers. I don't see any reason why you can't just have the point negative 2, 4 as, as part of your function. Um, but on this one, if we're going to try and get this to graph to go up in both directions, we need something squared somewhere. So um, let's assume, just for our practicing sake, that this is a hole, um, which would tell us that f of x would need to have, the hole is at negative 2, so we'd need an x plus 2 in both the top and the bottom. And then we have an asymptote at x equals negative 1. Um, so it's x plus 1 x plus 1. Oh, I lied. We don't want it in both places. Um, but we need something squared. So let's see what happens. If I square this right here, I'm going to come back to my calculator. Um, oh, exit out. I'm going to turn this one off, come in again, and we'll say x plus 2, x plus 2 over x plus 2 times x plus 1 squared. Let me do, let's do window, and we'll do standard just to see, to give us a starting point. Okay, and if you notice on here, it does go to positive infinity in both directions. So getting, if you want it to go up on both sides, we need to make sure that everything stays positive, and one way to do that is to square things. Um, we should have the point, if we get closer and closer to negative 2, we should get closer and closer to 4. So let's trace and get closer and closer to negative 2. Oh, wait, that's, we went beyond negative 2. Um, oh, I forgot to do, I forgot to deal with that. So we would need something like um, an a times whatever um, to get this 4. So we could say, okay, um, plug in. So we need f of negative 2, right, should equal 4. So if I plug in negative 2, let's cancel, let's ignore these for a minute. We're going to say a over negative 2 plus 1 quantity squared is equal to 4. This becomes a positive 1 squared is still 1, so a would have to equal 4. So if I exit back out and put 4 times that, okay, we still are doing what we expected here as far as going off to positive infinity. Um, when I trace this and I get closer and closer to negative 2, Okay, I'm a little bit above negative 2, I'm a little bit above 4, I'm a little bit below negative 2, I'm a little bit below um, negative, uh, positive 4. So this equation ends up being um, f of x is equal to 4 times x plus 2 over um, x plus 2 times x plus 1 quantity squared. Ay ay ay, this is fun. Okay, let's see if it has a hole at 1. They said sketch a picture has a hole at x equals 1, and as x approaches 4 from the left, it increases, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So as we approach 4 from the left, it increases without bound. So we're going to have a hole somewhere here. Um, I don't know. And then we're going to increase and go like that. And then it decreases without bound as we approach from the right. So we're doing something like this. So they don't tell us anything about maybe we have a, maybe our, Horizontal asymptote was at negative 1. We don't really know. But those are the things that they're looking for. Okay, on this one, it had a hole at negative, three and po negative 2 and positive 3. It approaches negative 1 from the left. Okay, so here's a negative 1 is an asymptote. As we approach from the left, it decreases. So we're doing something like this, ultimately, but then there's a hole. Here's negative 2, here's negative 3. Oh, I don't care about negative 3. I care about positive 3. Okay, so there's a hole somewhere here, and then it's going to go down. And then it's, 
As it approaches negative one from the right, it decreases without bound again. Okay, so then there's a hole here at three maybe, and then we're decreasing, so something like that. So who knows what exactly it's doing beyond that. They didn't tell us anything to think about on that. Woo, okay, this is fun stuff. Go practice.